Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how you can fix most of your Magnesis and Rune related crashing when playing The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Seamu Emulator. The version of Seamu I am using is 1.11.4, however, this fix should work in all previous and all future versions of Seamu Emulator. For anybody who is not aware, there are a lot of people out there in the CMU community who are experiencing this crash, which generally only occurs when you use runes outside of a shrine related situation. Now while we can't stop 100% of the crashing due to the experimental nature not only of CMU, but also the new multi-core features which were introduced in CMU 1.11.3, we can help alleviate them and stop quite a few of them from happening. Let's jump straight across to my desktop and I'll show you exactly how you can do this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is actually launch CMU itself. Once you have it launched, all you need to do is come to the options menu, experimental, and you want to enable this Breath of the Wild crash workaround. In previous videos, I stated to disable this as we were using this graphics pack right here, LWZX crash workaround. In my experience with CMU 1.11.4 over 1.11.3, having both of these active at the same time has no comparable difference in performance, however it does stop a lot of the crashing. Another reason for a lot of the crashing is actually these new fast but unstable core recompilers. Both dual and triple core recompiler are very unstable and for the most part you can attribute most of your crashes to the instability of these two new CPU modes. In my experience testing CMU 1.11.4 and indeed CMU 1.11.3, if your PC and CPU is powerful enough to run the game using single core recompiler, then I would definitely advise using this mode over its multi-core counterparts. Now if after applying the fix that I have shown you in this video, you are still experiencing quite a lot of crashes especially in relation to using runes, you should most definitely make sure that all of your system drivers are up to date and that you are not running a slightly unstable CPU overclock. Also, if you are having any other crashing issues in relation to CMU 1.11.4, you should check out some of the videos I have released that are specific to this 1.11.4 version in the past few days. Additionally, if you need any more CMU help or just want to talk to some like-minded people about gaming in general, make sure to jump over and join the BSOD Gaming official Discord. I will have a link for it down in the description below. So once again, let's roll the thank you note for all of the BSOD Gaming Patrons. You guys cannot even imagine how thankful I am for your continued support. If you wish to become one, you can find a link to the BSOD Gaming Patreon down in the video description. So as always guys, cheers for checking out the video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.